Okay. All right. Uh, let's see here. So we have just the Fed C and the Stealth C to unlock. So that means we got to win with Fed B or Stealth B. Oh boy. All right. Those are two really tough ships. Fed B. Oh, wait. I was thinking Fed C. Fed B is not nearly as bad. Okay. Fed B is not nearly as bad. This is basically a crappy version of the uh, Kestrel A. All right. We can definitely do, as Kenny calls it, we'll say it's the Phallic Cruiser. Cruiser. All right. Stop touching the pause button. No, I'm not. I'm not doing unlock challenge on hard mode no pause although that could be it that could be the next time we try to do unlock challenge unlock every ship hard mode no pause how would that be a for challenge huh now that could be that could be a good next challenge actually that we might want to go for hard mode no pause um hard mode no pause unlock every ship that would be whew. oh man that would be a challenge there's a unit in Mountain Blade 2 called a Bushwanker or something like this. Uh, so probably Bushwhacker, which isn't supposed to be sexual, I don't think, Kenny. <laughs> Bushwhacker, I think, is supposed to be like somebody who lives in the bush and is a like a like a bad guy. Oh, hey, what's up, Farb? How you doing? Farb is a pie in the sky. Subscribe. Er, nice. Actually, I think I am too, because I think someone gifted me when, uh, <laughs> when I went in the other, the other day. Probably Nietzsche or something. I should have hit his weapons. Oh, crap. I should not. I do not like that auto fire stays on between runs. I think that is, that feels like a bug to me. Auto fire staying on between runs, I think is a bug. I really don't like that it does that. Oh, of course it's a double fire in my doors. Of course it is. Uh, okay, I gotta do this. You got gifted it too? <laughs> all, all Pie Boy subs are gifts. <laughs> okay, all right, gotta fix this. Oh, it's Saucer. Much loved the Saucer gift sub master. What's up with you, Farb? Have you been having any crazy runs or challenges? You've been doing uh, hard but no pause stuff. Let's get out right before. Do I go in here? I could get extra jumps. I don't have clone bay though, for the uh, the uh, that event that I like to get level two piloting for. He whacks from the bush. Yeah, just like that. Not much been playing. You've been playing pause. The true masters make the game easier. <laughs> uh, and by masters, I mean the true noobs. The true noobs. Like you and me, we're just so noob-like in our, in our gameplay. Okay. Uh, damn. Of course he hit my shields with his first shot. Why wouldn't he hit my shields with his first shot? Frickin' why wouldn't he? All right, we'll get his weapons offline. Farb found the pause button. He did? I know, it's hard to find sometimes. Congratulations on finding that pause button, though. Makes life so much easier. Here's a crazy mod idea, FTL, but everything explodes unpredictably. Okay, wow, that was a nice double reward. Holy crap. That puts me at one off of getting uh, getting our shields all the way up already. I've been wanting to go back to it for a while and get a streak, try some stuff out. Yeah. I tried some hard mode with pause streaks, and even that made me rage. <laughs> so that's why I do the challenge ideas. Just because if I do some ridiculous challenge, I rage less if I fail. All right, so 49 scrap. Let's get one. Let's get, like, shield value point there. Uh, Far's been pimping his uh, channel banner re recently. Channel banner. What's that? Okay. Hey, the Federation ship. You have a missile too, bro. Missile on missile violence. If they have a missile, I will use a missile. 
Please don't hit my weapons or shields with your missile. Actually, if it's a one damage missile, shields is fine. Okay. But he dumble doged me. Not happy about it. Wow, you, this guy's dodged 66% of shots so far. Congratulations. You suck. And you cheat. Okay. There we go. You suck and you cheat. You're you're cheating on so many levels, sir. Channel banner is a thing you have with your diver picture. Okay, I know what it is, but I don't know how you would pimp his channel banner. What? <laughs> what does that mean? How would you pimp that? You make it sleep with other people for money? How do you make your banner do that? Be careful with those full stops. The Randbot Inquisition is always in there. Okay. Well, that's the point at which you go and check his kappa. Okay. Don't really know what you're saying there. All right, so we just got a quest. I wonder if I need, like, level 2 sensors. So this is one of those quests where you, like, have to see what's there. I'm just going to get shields. As much as I'd like to have level 2 sensors for maybe a blue option, I don't know if that would be useful for that quest. You're finishing up your last day of quarantine. You and chat saved me from dying of boredom. Nice, Desert Fox. Dying of boredom. Yeah, that's a... That's rough. <laughs> I wonder if anybody has actually ever died of being so bored. Could you actually die of boredom? I mean, that sounds like only a first world problem, honestly. Could you actually die of boredom? Okay, this guy can't do damage to me but the solar flare can, so... Dying of boredom. Pets can. Really? Finish up... Pets can really die of boredom, huh? Okay, we do not want this fight to go long since we are in a solar flare. Let us prevent. We must prevent to prevent. Prevent to prevent damage. God, that is two solar flares? Both solar flares have randomly... God damn it. Hit my, hit my uh, doors. Set my doors on fire. You shitty game. All right, that's a good deal, though. Randomly set my my doors on fire. Both freaking solar flares, man. Bullshit. I call bullshnizzle on you, game. All right, get that repaired. Let's go heal. While we slowly get some... Oxygen back. If you count eating tide, tide pods as dying from boredom, then, then it's happened. Oh, my God. One, two, three, four. That's... Oh, my God. I, don't, I have no comment on that. You're so bored you do stupid stuff to entertain you. Okay. Uh, okay. I guess that's what would be... Oh. Or boiled potatoes. So bored you eat boiled potatoes. Wow, so many stores. One, two, three, four, five, six. Do I want to check two stores? Do I have anything to sell? I have the heal bomb, and that's it. I kind of feel like the fed ship should start with some augment. Because starting with artillery, I would count as a handicap, not as a bonus. It's a known issue with dogs where if they grow close to an owner and the owner leaves for too long, the dog basically goes into depression and refuses to eat. Oh, okay. I could see that. And I think the dog that was upstairs that kept barking like hours and hours on end every time uh, his owner left probably had that issue. What do they call it? Abandonment issues, I think. Uh, that's what happened to your dog, though you were only gone for a week. The dog was fine. Okay. Well, that's good. I'm glad to hear your dog was fine. Tide pods or boiled potatoes? Choose wisely. Well, if that's my choice, I'm pretty sure I'm not choosing the thing that will kill me. So bring on the boiled potatoes. Okay, a map. Well, I basically have no choice where to go. I guess I go one, two, three, four, five. That's a lot of scrap. 
So two stores or extra scrap? One, two, three. Yeah, we definitely go for the extra scrap. We'll check one store. As long as the dog is fine, who cares about the humans? That's right. Wow, there's an early Pegasus, huh? Actually, Burst Laser 1 would... It's not great, but early game, that could be really good to go with the dual laser. Um, so that put me at 80. So 50 plus, yes. Okay. Um, when I did my how to get, how to win, what was my video called? FTL beginner's guide, beginner's guide to get your first win in FTL, whatever my video is called. I, uh, I, I posted a link to a weapon tier list and I was very surprised by some of them. Burst laser one was actually pretty high on the tier list. And the reason was because of the cost, because being able to get it online early really raises the value of it for that tier list anyway. So, all right, well, I don't need one shield. Frickin' mind control sector one, wonderful, with a frickin' missile too. But uh, I was surprised by Burst Laser 1 being up there because I never rated it very highly. Burst Laser 1 is really good. Burst 2 just blocks out of that. Yeah. Yeah, I guess it's just outshined by Burst Laser 2. Well, what's weird, I guess what's weird to me is that the efficiency of burst lasers is so skewed on the different tiers. I shouldn't have had him in the shield weapon and shields there. That was dumb. Like, burst laser three is extremely inefficient. Burst laser one is way worse efficiency, way worse efficiency wise than burst laser two. And I can't get the frickin' missile offline. Um, so I guess to me, it's just like, if they wanted weapons to be balanced in this game, they would have needed to balance efficiency between weapons. But then if you have all weapons be the same efficiency, then nothing's overpowered, nothing's underpowered. They're all the same in power level, I guess you could say. So if you want there to be tiers, if you want there to be good weapons and bad weapons, you have to actually have some bad ones, I guess. Which comes back to the point of balance in video games being hard, I guess. Hard to get the balance right. Just learned a short, short description for missile drone is literally stupid missile. What? Okay. Uh, what if we boil the Tide Pods? <laughs> Does that change your decision? No. Nope. Boiling Tide Pods, I'm pretty sure, doesn't make them any less deadly or any more tasty. Would be my guess. As far as two power, as far as two power lasers go, Burst 2 is probably second best. Um, is it better than Chain Burst? I guess that's debatable. If this, the longer the fight goes, the better Chain Burst gets. But it maxes out at 7 speed, and this one's at 11. So, probably over time, Chain Burst beats it. I know Chain Burst is slow, but... It's kind of like Vulcan. So is Vulcan, but it really shines the longer the fight goes on. Even at seven seconds, you're waiting for other weapons. True. I it, I would say it probably depends on what's with it. But you're probably right. A free NG, yes, every single time. Yes, yes, yes. Give me that blue option NG machine. You think weapons were balanced, but then some were changed when while others were not. Very early on, Burst Laser 2 was three power. But three power for three shots. That seems really weak, too. Uh, first volley is most important. If you have multiple chain lasers, then sure. But everything else is nine plus seconds. Yeah, I'm not I'm not disagreeing you, with you that burst laser one is still good. I just think that burst laser one compared to chain laser, there are some... I can't, can't get through my shields. There are some situations where Chain Burst might be better. Like, if you had a Vulcan plus a Chain Burst, I think I'd rather have Vulcan plus Chain Burst over Vulcan plus Burst Laser. But in most other situations, like having a Flak, I would most likely want to have a Burst Laser 1 because it charges faster. So, uh, it's not weak. You're just used to Flaks and Burst 2s. <laughs> Am I? Well, there's also dual lasers. There's also uh, laser chargers. All these heavy, heavy, heavy lasers are more efficient. So I don't know, Britnoth. There are a number of weapons that are 
that are more efficient than a three, three shot, three power weapon. Piling for eight's a great deal. Holy crap. That like saves me 12 scrap. Abandoned sector two is not bad. Do I have long range scanners? I don't. So. Ah, that's a lot of green sectors. Um, you know what? If I'm going to go with abandoned, sector two is where I'd want to do it. Chain plus hacking one can deal damage through five shields with full training. Really? Once it's fully spun and fully trained, do you need an automated reloader for that? Heavy laser one used to be two power. Oh, okay. You're going to try Mountain Blade 2 multiplayer? What's the multiplayer like in that? Kenny, is it versus or do you like play with friends in big giant battles or something? You still use a heavy laser for two power? I mean, that's basically what the uh, heavy pierce is, right? Explore. Nice. Free stuff. It's versus, okay. And Artemis was two power, if I recall, but I imagine the devs realized Kestrel A starting at five weapons was a bit weird, so they dropped the power cost of starting weapons, but not others. Is that how you think they were balanced? I don't know why I keep using air quotes for everything. Okay. Uh, okay. Do, 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 you know, let's just do this. Let's just let's just vent. Vent the humans. Come on in. The venting's fine. Actually I'm gonna close I'm gonna I'm gonna actually stop venting so I can get some fighting training on these dudes. Finish them. Uh, it's like 50 versus 50, but all players instead of bots. Wow, that sounds like... Uh, that sounds like that other medieval versus game that people were playing a lot uh, months ago. What was that game called? I think Burger played that game some. So they balance some, but not others. Starting with five weapon power would be crazy OP. Yeah, it would. Mordhau. Yeah, it does sound like Mordhau. Mordo. However you say that. All right, so what am I looking for? Am I looking for another weapon? I'm actually probably looking for a system upgrade next. So missile defense is what I want next. What do I think of laser plus in? I.e. one laser, but one system and one ion damage. What? Oh, plus ion. One laser and one ion damage? That's basically what we just played with the... Uh, NGB, and I think it's pretty weak. Because one dodge and you're screwed. Or are you saying a weapon that does one laser and one ion? Uh, those have been in other mods and they're really OP. Like, I'm pretty sure Captain's Edition and SMPK have weapons like that. And they're really freaking strong. Because what they do is, even if they hit shields... They'll do shield ion damage, but when you hit shields after you've ioned them down, it'll do system and hull and ion all the she shields, and it's really freaking strong. Mordow is just a little copy of it, Mountain Blade since Mountain Blade is 15 years old. All right, sure, Kenny. <laughs> you sound like a Mountain Blade fanboy right now. <laughs> but you're probably right, but still. I mean, I'm sure Mountain Blade was a little copy of something else, right? It's probably been... Were there, were there Battle Royale games like Mountain Blade before Mountain Blade came out? I don't know if there was. Yeah, if you combine them into one weapon, I'm pretty sure it's really, really strong. There was nothing before Mountain Blade that was anything like Mountain Blade. I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I'm trying to think. I, I do remember this, like, Romance of the Three Kingdoms game that uh, kind of reminded me of that a little bit. You know, they forgot Farb. We need to tell Rand about the true power of the stun bomb. <laughs> you already showed me that video, pie boy. I'm still not convinced that stun bomb is good. All right, he's got a missile and hacking. Let's fight him. Please don't hack my weapons. O2 hack is fine. Ions don't deal hole damage. Missiles deal hole damage, which is why there's an ion bomb and not an ion missile. Ion missile that doesn't pierce shields might work. That's interesting. 
I remember some game in the 90s my, my sister's ex-husband played. And I think it was a, like Romance of the Three Kingdoms 2 or something like that. I can't remember. It was a strategy game, like an overworld strategy game. But I don't think it had the first person fighting aspect to it. But thinking back, it kind of reminds me of uh, Mountain Blade. At least the overworld part of it. Ion Missile, when you want your Ion Weapon shot down by Defense Drone. When you want your we Ion Weapon shot down. What? Why would you ever want that to happen? Unless it exploding caused damage to the shield or something. Now, that would be interesting. If an Ion Missile getting shot down by Defense Drone exploded, exploded in Ion damage and disabled multiple systems. How's that for a cool mechanic? All right. All right, so we're looking for Missile Defense is what we're looking for. So we're still with Missile Defense. Sounds interesting from a balance point of view. I don't know if that would be balanced because basically if it didn't get shot down, then you have ion damage happening to their shields. If it did get shot down, so like you win either way. Not sure that that's balanced. Hey, two shield ship in sector two. The rare, rare screwage from FTL. Doesn't happen a lot, but when it does, it's a slug ship. Missiles are weak enough and I have used stun bomb a couple times without memeing. I mean, I, I understand how Stun Bomb could work. I understand how it could be good. I don't feel like I would ever purposefully buy it for a build. The only possible way I could see it to be useful is if you're going for some really ridiculous Breach, Kill the O2 build or Fire build. And both of those builds are so, like, niche. Like, you're forcing a build that's not optimal or that's the only thing FTL gives you that I just don't see it as being a, a viable thing. Ooh, double reward? Damn, no double reward. Just imagine why I like the enemies to have it. Yeah, they're talking about the ion missile exploding thing? Yeah, probably not. All right, so I have four jumps. So if there's a store up here, one, two, three, four. So the only store I could get would be here or here or here or here, but... Wouldn't be able to see that one in time. Uh, stunned pilot removes all but an autopilot evasion, but the AI doesn't send another crewman to man pilot. Oh, that's interesting. So it sounds like the other way you could make it work is if you, hey, free eye on bomb, is if you manipulate AI with the build. So one, two, three. So this is our only store we could get now, if there is one. You need to highlight the run where you paid for stun bomb. <laughs> Freaking hell. Yeah, highlight... Worst choice ever made. Please don't hack shields. Okay, good. Can't get through my shields. Nice. Can you mod lockdown onto a laser? Interesting. Um, Lasers can start fires, so I would think possibly. I think that might be possible. I don't know. I don't know about that very unique mechanic. It is possible? Okay. Nope. You flashbang pilot for a reduced evasion 15 seconds, useful for Vulcan runs. <laughs> Builds that are just for the beauty of the moves. You mean memes. It's a, that's a meme build. So again, stun bomb for memes, seems like. All right, automator reloader. Okay, that's... I always like my automator reloaders. Do I want to keep this ion bomb? I don't like this because of its long freaking charge time and the fact that they can just freaking dodge it. So, uh, every weapon has every possible effect listed with numbers denoting damage, system damage, etc. One of them is lockdown. Okay. You don't have missile. Do you have missile defense? No, they have drone control. Now, this is a pretty crappy store, actually. Um, okay, I'm just going to get gonna do this this is a sector 2 scrap recovery arm this is probably about as late as I would buy it but do I buy it I think it might actually be efficient to buy the scrap recovery arm here I think like late sector 2 is about the latest you ever want to buy it that means that does delay me getting missile defense 
from next sector possible stores. Possibly. I'm going to do it. One fuel. I'm going to go for it. Hopefully we'll make enough scrap to make up make that worthwhile soon. You would still say no? You feel dirty getting the scrap recovery arm, do you? <laughs> well, you know what's dirty about that is it would have been really good in the sector I was just in because of the whole mining asteroids or whatever with it. 24 for reactor. Nope. That would have saved me. That would have been a bad deal. Ha ha. You can't cheat me. No, you can. But you didn't. Ha ha. I snipped out that slug deal right there. Efficient? Yes. Good purchase? No. Well, if it's a... To me, almost every choice in hard mode, if it's efficient, is the right choice. But if it slows you down too much, there's an argument that you get too far behind. I don't think I'm too far behind with dual laser plus burst laser one. So I, that's why I chose to do it. I feel like my offense is strong enough that I can possibly get away with get, get away with it. Uh, like Kestrel B, but each basic laser has one added effect. That would be kind of a cool idea. As late as I'd buy it, yes, Megahedron. Usually you don't want to buy scrap recovery arm too late in the run because you often won't get the efficiency out of it. Because you have to make, what is it, 500 scrap? I don't know. I remember Lethal Frag did the math on it at one point. And basically everything Lethal Frag says about FTL is what I take as gospel. <laughs> Which even though I, I think some things that he says I are not completely... I don't know. Britnoth or Farb or Pieboy might know better the numbers on when when it's good to get it, when it's not. I think end of sector two is about as late as you probably should. You wouldn't you wouldn't buy it till sector four if you bought it. Period. Oh, you're saying you would buy it later? Hmm. It's efficient getting you scrap, but is scrap the limiting factor in sector seven and eight? No. Paid for itself after 250 scrap if you plan on selling it. Okay. If you have the relative value of scrap per sector, it never pays for itself. Really? It always runs down to 19 scrap every. Scrap. It rounds down to... So 19 scrap gets one in return. Okay, so this is 22 and I get 24. So I got two extra scrap there. So you're saying it's never worth it, Britnoth, huh? You don't make your money back before late Sector 4. I tested specifically buying at Sector 1. Okay. A multiplayer is great as it's supposed to be. Cavalry is gay as it's supposed to be. So basically, you always want to be cavalry in uh, Mountain Blade. Now, long range scanners on the hand, on the other hand, you always want. And so now I'm full up on augments. So, all right, Pulsar, huh? Pulsar would probably kick our ass. I really need an offensive upgrade now, actually. You know, if it's ever, you don't know if it's never worth it, but you it would, but you would rather get other stuff. Well, here's the thing. I had no other good options for offense or defense. That's why I bought it. God damn it. Okay. I basically had no other good options, so that's why I bought it. No good combat options, so I bought it. That's my excuse. The other option was a save scrap. True. That was definitely an option. Whew, he tried to take my weapons out. Show sure enough did try. Show sure enough did try. True, I could have saved scrap. Oh man, are you fucking kidding me? I fired that weapon, you crap game. Spending for the sake of send spending se spending for the sake of spending is also wrong. True. However, if it makes me scrap, I still think it can be worth it. So, I don't know. I don't know the numbers. There are situations where I think it's useful, just like pre-igniter. There are times when it's good, time when it's bad. This time, will it be bad? We'll find out as the run goes along. If if I may if I if the run goes to a point where I have enough offensive defense and I don't lose, I feel like it was not a wrong decision. Of course, that's probably a results-based analysis, too. But still. Double reward. 
good value. I mean, we didn't have any good offensive weapons or good choices there. No, uh, <sighs> no missile defense, no good weapon upgrade. The 250 scrap thing is also more complex. Okay. For a whole, if it's efficient or not, kind of thing. Okay. Alright, we got ourselves a human on our ship. Okay. If I can get him to fight not in the piloting to save me dodge, that would be really nice. Good. Can I get a weapon offline? Beautiful. Very nice. So now I only need one shield. Do this. Because even if you sell in Sector 7, you can make another 300 scrap after the Sector 7 store and in Sector 8. Yeah. Again, I don't know. I'm I'm not a math major, and even if I was, I probably would not know how to do the math correctly. I don't know what the... if. Oh my god. Could you stop dodging 50% of my shots, you shitty, shitty game? Um, so I don't know. He dodged zero the first volley. I guess that's making up for the zero percent dodge. There was a bunch of times where I didn't make my money back, but I did not feel like purchasing it was really the contributing factor to losing. So it might not be a bad choice. Yeah, I, I feel like it just, it's got to depend on the run. It's got to depend where you are in the run, how much, how how low you are in health. Like, cause if I was a lot lower in health too, the, it would have been better to like repair to not be in you know, death at death's door or whatever but right now we're getting all these double rewards it feels really good to have the scrap recovery arm so the multiplayer is fun as hell i should try it kenny i, I rage so hard at, at multiplayer but maybe maybe i will i i plan on playing some mountain blade two banner lord I, I just need to get get to a point where i can uh get it in my schedule it didn't cost me to run that often so doing it is okay uh, SRA on easy is overkill. Um, okay, let's see. You know what? I'm going to take free scrap because you have a freaking missile. I actually like it better on, on easy because, yeah, it's overkill. But if you're a newer player, you kind of need overkill to win sometimes. There's nothing to raise. It's just fun PvP, like wall against wall. Yeah, if I didn't, that that doesn't sound that fun to me, actually. There's a bunch of people swinging, swinging swords and not really contributing much to a fight. I don't know if that sounds that much fun, but maybe it is fun. I haven't played it, though. Just confirmed, you can only return four crew with one teleporter, even if five are in the same room. Though if the enemy crew is dead, then you get an instant recharge. So returning five crew at once is kind of pointless. What about returning four crew... Plus one mind-controlled enemy. Is that possible? Hey, there's our store. You haven't explored the system config to see if there's a way to change that. Okay. All right, there's cloaking, hacking, drone control, automated reloader. I definitely don't want to sell an augment and get an augment. That would be extremely inefficient scrap usage. Uh, selling an augment for cloaking, however. i probably just get hacking. I have 14 drone parts. That would help my offense, and I can get missiles offline with that. We're going into a sector where I'm going to want more offense for sure. I think hacking is almost always the correct choice, though. You have to have backup battery, do you? No. Okay. Okay, and then I'm gonna get level two. All right, we did the hacking. You get so much scrap, you were just filling up an augment slot. You're talking about in easy mode? Yeah, I did just get hacking. I will sell six room parts though, because that will let me get power. Okay. You'll test that, but I doubt it because the mind-controlled enemy is still considered an enemy and isn't part of your crew. No, that's not the reason why it wouldn't work, Oreo Fish, because you can mind-control guys and bring it back to yourself. That's a, bring it back to your ship. That's a strat. That is abduction strats. Um, I don't know if you can bring it back when you have four people of your own in the room, but that absolutely works. All right. Well, again, nothing but missiles.
All right, I want to shoot at his weapons, but I'm going to shoot at his shields so that future shots will hopefully hit. Ouch. Double fire's great. A doja missile? No dojas for me. But now he has no weapons. You're misinformed then? <laughs> Yep, abduction strats are fun. We've done them on the stream many times. We might actually have a viewer-created ship based around that coming soon, possibly. Yeah, we've we played and we played viewer ships in the past that are that are based on abduction strats. I'm pretty sure it works if the enemy hacks your teleporter and you mind control someone. Yeah, hacking with teleporter has some weird interactions. We've definitely seen that before. Like, because they all of a sudden consider them an enemy, so they'll send them back, and it'll send more more back than should be able to get sent back or something. I don't know. Okay, freaking big giant missile. All right, I got I to gotta do it. I need... Oh, my God. He's even got burst laser, too, as well. All right. Do I hack shields to shoot at his weapons? Do I hack weapons to... Just, I only have four shots. I have to. I have to hack his shields. God, why'd you gotta be so strong? I should hit shields, but I'm going after weapons because I'm just, that's just, that offense is too scary. Beautiful. That's exactly what I needed. Okay, let's do that. All right, all right. And he had value point and shields, but to be expected if he only has two shields, I guess. Any doges? Hey, Dumbledore! Well done, Dumbledore. Does that kill him? Beautiful. We took zero damage for that fight. Amazing. Very nice. But my, my defense is really weak right now. My offense feels really weak, too. Hacking's really got to... Make up for a lot of weakness right now, I feel like. Has anyone, anyone ever had their mind control crew abducted? I think I have seen that happen before. Um, it's really rare, rare because... Basically, it has to happen when they're teleport. They Because they only usually bring crew back when they have a heal bay and their crew are low on health. So it would have to be, I think, the very rare situation where they have boarded you... But then they always mind control first. It's such a rare thing to happen. Are Lanius bombers the only ships that have mind control and TP at the same time? That might be... Yeah, they might be. You don't see that very often. Yeah, flagship, flagship has it, but they don't. They just board. They don't TP back. Yeah. Okay, all right. I'm going to get... Your dodge and power here. Help with a little bit of dodge. Next phase three, you need to hack their TP, Farb. <laughs> all the missiles. All the missile ships. Okay, that is a mantis on the ship. Nice. Ouch. Frickin' missiles, man. Frickin' missiles. Subset, why you no know nerf missiles? Why you no know nerf them? You thought the new meta was chain ion? <laughs> is that something Scott w Wednesday Wilson said? The new meta is chain ion. God. I do not li want to live in a world where there is the, where that is the meta. What a sad world that would be. New meta is Chain Ion. Okay, all right. So I need either a weapon upgrade. I just, I really need shield defense. And what I really would like would be cloaking because we're using drone parts a lot for our offense. And I sold drone parts. So, okay, that's going to be half power. So I have 12. So I'm going to have six power. That's so little power. 
Do I spend power right before I go here, right before a store? That's always my question. If I'm trying to save up scrap, do I spend scrap to get the power so I can do this fight better? I do have one Zoltan, actually, so that's seven power. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I have this. All right, we're going to go in with this. I don't want to spend scrap when I'm trying to save up for something good at the store. Well, really, you have a three power drone online. How nice for you. Okay, well, I don't need shields, though. All right, what do I take out? It's got to be weapons every time. It's always the weapons. Look at those frickin' dodges. Dodge 50% of my shots. I swear the enemy uh, ion charger charges faster than yours does. I swear. Zero goddamn dodges. Already repaired this shit. God damn it, game. He's dodged 50% or more of every volley so far. Give me a goddamn break. And of course he missiled in the middle of my fucking hack. God damn it, missiles are so goddamn overpowered in this game. <sighs> Alright, thank god. Get that shit offline. Crap. Why is why is there no oxygen in here? What the hell? Now he's got Zoltan shield and three and two shields and a value point. Amazing. All right, we got a fire in the shield room. That's really good. But his missiles back up. I'm not taking that deal. You die. You go to hell and you die. How does FTL have a metagame if there's no multiplayer? <laughs> okay. Chain Ion opens up Ioning O2 for crew kills very late into the game. That does not sound like a strategy for wins in late game. Because you have to have so much defense to not take a crap ton of damage while you're waiting for the O2 kills. That just sounds like a terrible play. <laughs> what, a, what a great meta that sounds like. If missiles weren't as good, the game would be too easy. Probably, but it doesn't make me whine any less about it. If there were no missiles, have the shift in sector 3 would be flak 1 burst 2 and a small bomb. <laughs> oh my god. Oh man, okay. Halberd beam would be nice. Cloaking would be amazing right about now. If I had 50 more scrap from not getting the scrap recovery arm, would I have enough to get something good here? So if I spent the scrap on the halberd beam... Actually, I think I might sell burst laser to get halberd beam. You have to clear out your mods folder in Slipstream. You have 38 mods in it. Oh, I have so many more than that. So 65 plus 35 is 100. So I would have to sell my burst laser one. Oh, man, I really need defense. But halberd beam is just so strong. All right, and then I got to repair. I don't love this, but I don't love this run either, so we're not getting near enough free stuff this run. Okay, wow. This this sector, though, holy crap. Shield 5 is quite rare, rare and missiles are not good for the player ship. Yes, see, so, so you meant... You meant if she pier missiles could only pierce sh three shields. I don't know. I feel like if you want to balance that, you'd have to like have different level of missiles pierce different numbers of shields. Like if you're going to try to balance it around something like that. Actually, the Zoltan would do more damage, so we do this. Missiles are a problem early game. Well, they're a problem anytime you don't have missile defense, which it's almost always mid early game where that is the issue. 
and if you never get missile defense, you are always in trouble. Because one missile, one breach missile hitting you three times is about half your health. That's why my my guide that I use says you want to get missile defense right after you get your good offense in like sector three or four. But we're just not having the scrap numbers line up this game. Drones are not reliable missile defense, though. For some ships, they're not. For this ship, definitely not. These long, skinny ships. And since I have hacking, I definitely don't want missile defense with drone control because I just don't have the drone numbers to probably support it. Just to have enough offense, they only fire missile once. Easy game. Well, that's kind of what I'm going with with the Halberd buy. Can I go one, two, three, four? No, I don't think I can do that. Drone targeting bug also exists. Yeah. Just get stun bomb. Yeah, that's what I need. Okay. Damn, his freaking missile. And it's the fact that so many... It's it's weird to me also how, how frequent it seems like enemy ships get missiles. I don't know if they have a higher chance to get missiles. Uh, it's probably just random. It just feels really bad how often they get missiles. So many two damage missiles, too. Or higher. Oh, God. And, of course, only his missiles online. Well, missile land is ion. We, we hit. Thank you. All right. Well, Halberd Beam is strong. Halberd Beam is strong. That's an RD2. Wait. Just play Lanius B. Easy game. <laughs> yeah. Well... And the reason I really don't like fed ships is because this is just a wasted system slot. I, I said it a lot, but our artillery is almost always just a wasted system slot, in my opinion. All right. I need power, God. I just need to. I, now I need to save up scrap to get missile defense somehow. Hey, what do you know? Another goddamn missile. Every freaking ship. His missile went off, then came back up when Halberd hit. Yeah. Hey, what do you know? I've still dodged zero missiles. Still dodged zero goddamn missiles in these last couple fights. Well, if we lose this run, it's probably because we just fought too many ships with missiles and GG. Okay. His missile went off. Think it, yes. Uh, might be the other way around. Well, okay. It's sector four. This is sector four, yeah. This is sector four. I don't have missile defense. So my fault for not getting missile defense. But again, I got hacking earlier. Uh, fucking hell. Every fucking ship has a missile. All right, he doesn't have cloak, and I'm fighting him. Please don't hit, don't, please don't missile my weapons, please, game. Please. What is that, four fights in a row now that had, have had a missile? It's unfucking believable, man. Why, why you do this to me, game? Why you do this? All right, we finally dodged a goddamn missile. It's a miracle. Get one shot, bro. Hacking his missile defense, Rand. Kappa. Nice double reward. Okay. If I can get cloaking, we'll be in great shape. Uh, I think we've already seen our store of the sector, so I don't think it's going to happen in this sector. So I need to save up for, like, early next sector store with cloaking or something. Okay. All right. Of course, this this is really scary. This is, might be scarier than a missile ship right here. Bring a burst laser two plus uh, heavy laser two is like so. It times out perfectly for their auto fire. Yeah, yeah. Ah, <sighs> god damn it, game. Hey, how about we fight a ship that doesn't have six or seven weapon power in sector sector four? How about we? How about we don't get absolutely blasted every goddamn fight? Game. 
I would I would I would like that. I would like that. Could we have that? Uh now imagine all those missiles were burst laser twos instead. I don't know, man. I don't know. We're just not having good RNG with our fights. It's you can definitely roll fights where they do not have as much offense as they're having, and we are not rolling that. I if I if I cave and get like third shield now, then I'm just even more susceptible to stuff to uh I'm not taking that. Two missiles. All right, we just got to go to the next sector. Hope we find an early store with, I don't even know what can save us now. Uh, I would go down to four drone parts if I do that. God, I need scrap. I need scrap. All right, well, I also need fuel, so I'll, I'll buy six fuel. It's a good deal. Rebel or Zoltan, that's my choices, huh? Zoltan, we better chance at stores, but then it's the Zoltan sector with frickin' Zoltan shields and missiles all over the place. Uh, Rebel's gonna be a bunch of auto scouts. Less stores. You think my scrap recovery armor is just now getting into profit? Oh man, I need a store. And I'm probably gonna have to sell it to like get cloaking at the like the first store I see. Oh man, I hate Zoltan sectors. Uh, yes, I will take free scrap from you, missile person. So 18 becomes 19. One whole extra scrap. One whole extra. I almost have enough for cloaking. Hey, look at this. A crappy weapon system. They do exist, guys. It's not a myth. A very crappy weapon system, actually. But he's got drones. Yeah, thank God it's not combat drones, actually. Um, all right, no doges for you. Beautiful. 18 plus 10% equals 19. Yeah, that's that rounding down thing we were talking about, right? Because if it rounded up, it would be plus two, right? I'm no math magician. But I think 10% of 20 is two. All right, 36 becomes 39. So we got three there. Wow. That really does. So even if you get 39, you would get three. Wow. It really is crappy. All right, but we have enough for cloaking. All right, they have cloaking. All righty. All right. Now I might actually be strong because I have missile defense. I need power galore, though. Um, but that's really helpful. Um, I need power. I also need drone parts. But I think what I need to do here is heal. I have four drone parts. I'm going to buy... Uh, oh, wow, they cost eight. For some reason, I was thinking four. All right, there we go. Are we back in this game? Who knows? Who knows? I'm still pretty low on health here. Asteroid field, sure. Hey, Rand, you know what two power bars cost right now? Kappa. No. What, 70? 50. Oh, 50. <laughs> Why are you all Kappa all over my ass today? Y'all rude. Farb, you don't rage when you play FTL. I feel like... You're being really mean to me for a person who doesn't rage. <laughs> it's almost like you want bad things to happen. Don't want thing, bad things to happen. Want good things to happen. Because I want good things to happen. Oh, that's not a good swipe. Uh, that's a good swipe. That's a one shot, actually. Get wrecked. <laughs> yeah, time out far, please. <laughs> So what we want is actually exactly 30, 40, 20, 50. We want exactly round numbers of scrap. We want multiples of 10 of scrap, and then it'll be efficient. So there, we just got maximum scrap, 33 from our scrap recovery arm. Guess what? Scrap recovery arm badass that time. 
Uh, let's see. You just like to talk shit sometimes. Uh, he usually doesn't talk that much in other chat either. He is in a troll mood today. <laughs> it's almost like Twitch chat likes to watch bad things happen. It, it, I, I don't, I don't know. It is, it's almost like that. I think I would like to not go to a Pulsar, but it looks like I don't have much of a choice here. Two, three, four, five. The four-man teleporter works on mind-controlled enemies, which I didn't know, but if there are four crew and a mind-controlled enemy, three of your crew come back along with the mind-controlled enemy, and it seems it leaves your first. Okay, so it, it is an, and there is a limit of four people to go back with the teleporter. That's good to know. Okay. We're using a drone part every single fight. So, that is a little scary for our drone part numbers. Do do. Do, 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 do. Okay, so he hacked my... I don't actually care about his hacking. Can I get piloting and... I think I can get this swipe here. Pretty sure I can do... That. Beautiful. Although it's... I need to do it after this is down. There we go. That's a good swipe. Cloak it. Uh, three fuel, 16 scrap. Nope, I need more scrap. 89%. Beautiful, it's not zero. Very nice. Uh, somehow his missile is again back online. What? How is it always only the missile? That's all right, you're dead. You're dead, I don't care. Jay McButter, thank you for the follow. Appreciate it, welcome to the stream. Appreciate that. If chat didn't give the streamer shit, is it really chat? <laughs> Yes, it would be a really nice chat that I would like to experience one day. Maybe I need to be nicer then, <laughs> because I'm pretty sure I trolled chat right back most of the time. All right, so I need power, I guess. There. Now to figure out if you can change that. Cue the next two hours pouring through XML files to find the teleporter settings. All right. Ooh, that's a flak and a and a heavy laser. Okay. Um, I think I'm actually going to hack his weapons here. We're going to let the Pulsar be our shield breaker, hopefully. I'm going to... No, I'm not going to let the flak fire. I was thinking of letting it fire. Ah, oh, it was slightly too early. Damn it. All right, we still got one damage on his weapons. Okay, that's good. We have cloaking for his next one, next uh, for his shot, but no shields, sadly. Oh, the Dumble Dumble Doge, get blasted! All right, zero damage fight. Very nice. Dumble Dumble Doge was very good there. Uh, you wouldn't know e w either what it's like to have a nice chat, Farb. <laughs> FTL is just a troll community, I guess. God ran that insert play here was really bad. Why don't you insert generic troll here? <laughs> I don't know. Why don't you learn to play insert video game here, chat? NG crew, 51 scrap. Nice. L2P. Uh, crappy chat person here. Okay, you need a medic for that burn. Oh, oh my god, what I need is mind control, because holy crap, we are getting, we are not strong against borders. Alright, he's only got two shields. I'm going to try to not use a drone part here. I'm going to need to, holy crap, it's extra borders and a clone bay. Okay... Okay, that's bad. That's going to be a lot of borders. Okay, maybe I can kill the clone bay, though. Damn, it's at least level two. Okay. 
Okay, very good. If they go into piloting now, if they go to piloting, that's not good either. Okay. But we can't take damage currently, so we should be good. If I close the doors again, I can continue to vent. Continue to vent said mantids. Oh, I need to actually turn my O2 on. Crap. Uh, can I get a fight swipe here? I can. Will that just kill him? Beautiful. Alright, let's go heal and not die. Okay. Healing and not dying is my goal now. Yes, I am not well set up for boarding. No Mantis, uh, no Rock crew, no mind control to counter it. So, uh, scary Mantids. Mantis went with the charge meme today, huh? Oh, the, yeah, he had double charge lasers, didn't he? One time Gobbler was looking all over for hacking. I told him the store was never going to have it. He asked why. It was because he already had it. <laughs> did he? <laughs> did he really? Uh, wow. Now, I hope I don't make that play today. The uh, why can't I find X because you already have X play. All right, I want third shield. I'm going to see if there's an early store before I check that. There's an idea for a teleporter pre-igniter augment. Now I wonder about teleporter automated reloader. What? Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Teleporter is pre-ignited. Um, okay, let's see if we can get a free free crew here. And like, if you want it to charge faster, like an automated reloader would do, guess what? Upgrade it. That's all you got to do. Okay. I would really love backup battery right now, too. I'm only going to have 82% dodge here when this thing fires. It sucks. So many goddamn big giant missiles. Actually, I want to hit engines over doors. See, so we'll have less dodge. It's a great deal. The missile's going to hit us, even though I took the deal. Fuck you, FTL. Wait, why didn't these guys leave? Why? More bullshit from FTL. They surrender, automatic dodges. You surrender, screw you, take the fucking three damage. God damn this game. Hate that. Hate that BS. Absolute 100% BS. Uh, it could be teleporter was intended to need time to lock on like bombs too. There was... A one-person teleporter? Presumably they'd save your crew if they were on the ship when it blew up. You think it should be consistent where you get dodged? Me too. From your mouth to subset's ears. Um, damn. Do I have any... Do either of my Zoltans have shield training? They actually don't. I don't have anybody else with engine training. Do I? Damn it, I need to get an engine trained person. Yeah, I've always thought it was bullshit that they get to dodge when you don't get to. So unfair. Okay. Alright, I don't see an early store. Alright, so do I get the third shield? What sector are we in? Sector 6? Level 2 tele uh, hacking should be enough right now. I don't see one extra jump with that jump. I think I have to get third shield. Okay. Okay. Oh, free stuff. Thank you. I love the free stuff. All right. Ooh, extra jumps in a nebula. I like that. No thanks, Asteroid Field. Five drone parts, four fuel. And another ship with... That's at least the third or fourth double burst laser two ship we fought today, actually. Britain, now, didn't you say, now, think if you replace those missiles with double burst lasers. I'm pretty sure that's what we keep seeing, actually. God. Freaking more Mantis borders, too. Okay. Crap. Uh, you go there, you go there. You guys go there. Then you go there, you go there. Then you guys go there. That's what I want. 
Okay. Cloak it. I'm hit piloting first, so I have a... My dual lasers will have... Uh, it's probably not going to time correctly anyway. Okay. Still pretty good. Still has his bomb online. Uh, is there anybody that's one shot... Oh, it's a firebomb. Okay. No. Okay. I don't think he could have been one shot by that. Alright, so we need... Uh, he's got no dodge, so this will kill him. There. Um, double burst twos and a bomb. Firebomb is 30 crew damage. Oh, so that would have one shot my... My, uh, my Zoltan there. Firebomb is 30 crew damage, even to rocks. <laughs> yeah, that doesn't seem quite right. I am immune to fire, unless it's inside of a bomb and napalm form. You know, it's it's not really fire, it's napalm. And rocks are not immune to that, I guess. Man, I would have been so salty if he actually did bomb and one-shot my uh, Zoltan there. That would have... Oh, that would have been some rage. All right, one, two, three. We are low on fuel, man. Oh, man, what do I do here? Do I get... I, I, the missiles can still kill us. I guess we do this. I hate to spend more scrap on not offense, but we got no stores coming up. There's an explosion happening. Fire is just the after effect. Okay. I will take free fuel. Yes, I will. The bomb probably throws shrapnel as well, but then again, it does no system damage. Yeah. There's no reason. Stop trying to justify FTL's cheatiness. Although, I don't know if it's cheatiness because... Oh, my God. Because uh, you wouldn't want your rock dudes hurt by that, too. Either. Also. Oh, my God. That human's getting wrecked. Oh, my God. I'm so... So ill-equipped to deal with frickin' borders, man. So ill-equipped. Oh my god, my humans. Why do mantids gotta do so much damage? Whew. Don't mantid me, bro. There we go. Well, that's a good deal. Holy crap. Okay. I said I wasn't getting free weapons, but I am getting some pretty good deals. One guy gave me a drone part, I think, for looking the other way for his uh, piracy. That guy gives me a drone part to not kill him. Time for door upgrade. Yeah, I guess that is some help against crew uh, uh, boarding. But it's not that much because they just keep boarding right into rooms. I have a crew on door, so I don't think I want to spend my scrap there. I really want to get another weapon. Dual laser is great and all, but I want to get another weapon. Yeah, they're just, they keep boarding straight into systems, so. Well, that's a double ion plus burst laser too. Cool. You just think you're too, sc too cool for school, don't you, Otter Scout? Got a newsflash for you, Walter Cronkite. You aren't. There's a good cloak. That's a good cloak. Who's a good double doge? You're a good double doge. Nice. I just wish I could sell artillery, man. If there's one thing I could do... Change an FTL. If there's one thing I could change an FTL, I'd make missiles weaker. If there were two things I could do, I would make make uh, make artillery sellable. All right, trying to find a store. There's also complete boss ready ship with 28 power and upgraded systems that was commented about. Reading through the FTL code, FTL code files is actually pretty interesting. Nice. Oh, free crew. Okay. All right. It's an NG. It's a fighting NG. I was really hoping for Mantis or Rock, dude, but hey, this NG knows Kung Fu. 
who am I to turn down an NG that knows Kung Fu? You'd prefer the ability to change the weapon into in the artillery. Eh, okay. I guess that could be cool. Never understood why systems couldn't be swapped. Yeah. Um, what do you have? Ion, drones, and a heavy laser 2, I'm guessing. Oh, we have cloaking. Let's go for it. Okay. So at a store, what would I want? I would want backup battery. I would want a flak or burst laser or something. Heavy laser would be not bad. Okay, let's go ahead and do this. There we go. Guarantee we just can't take damage. You heard you heard a Zoolander quote. Your day is complete. <laughs> That's right. Uh, now we just need some Napoleon Dynamite quotes, and our day will have been a very productive day. Do, 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 do. Combat NG, best NG. Double reward? Double reward, best reward. Okay. Well, I wonder how much scrap we've gotten from our uh, scrap recovery arm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I wonder how many jumps we'll get here, too. Who you getting crazy with, SA? Don't you know I'm loco? Is that from... What is that from? Oh, that's from the same scene in Zoolander. I was thinking... Since I mentioned Napoleon Dynamite, I think I was thinking you were doing a Napoleon Dynamite quote. But okay, nice. Um, I'm going to try to not use a drone part because I am down to three. Uh, why are there so many freaking Mantis borders? Am I in a Mantis sector? I'm pretty sure I'm not in a Mantis sector. Yeah, good thing I didn't get doors because it would have been a complete absolute waste. Alright, I need both my shots to hit. And they didn't. Okay, I'm gonna not cloak his first eye on. Okay, do that. Nice. Very, very nice. Okay. He's got clone bay, so he shouldn't come back with those guys since they're low health. I didn't save your positions. All right. Okay, never mind about him not coming back. Never mind about that whole thing. Wow, well, thanks for not hitting shields, artillery beam. You would actually be useful if you did that. We wouldn't want people to start thinking artillery is useful now, would we? Nah, we wouldn't want people to think that. We want this to com continue being a worthless system. Alright, there we go. No! What? Oh, the shield came up just in time to not get that last damage. Freaking hell. How did a how is a mantis repairing this fast enough? Here we go. Can I get some drone parts, please? No, just more missiles. I have 46. I definitely need more of those. Uh, missiles would be fine if DD1 reliably shot down missiles as long as it wasn't distracted or shot down. Well, I still think Defense Drone 1 is the best drone to get. Because Defense 2 drone has the same issues but costs more. And gets distracted by more stuff, i.e. lasers. So We need more Cell 15 missile events? We absolutely do. But we have a store here. So I need to like buy all the drone parts, basically. Unless I get like a flak. There's a heavy laser one, which is very good. I cannot find a store with systems. Which is fine, because I have all my systems. So it's great. I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm not just finding a store with systems. Uh, but whole missile, uh, who am I kidding? I never get a, I never get a missile. I have 46 missiles. Do I want firebomb? Yeah, uh, that's true. Actually, backup battery would be nice. So I do want it for that. All three drone parts. Heavy laser. 
Let's get the door upgrade. All right, there's some good upgrades there. Uh, I mean, heavy laser's an okay upgrade. I'd rather have something that... Well, actually, I love heavy laser. What am I talking about? I love you, heavy laser. I would never talk bad about you. You are amazing. I'm so happy you were in this store. If only your friend Flak One was also hanging out in the store. And if only the stores wanted all these missiles I was packing. I'm packing heat. You want to buy some heat? Heat? What are you talking about? All right, so... Are we in a man? We're not in a mantis sector, right? Why are we getting boarded so much? What sector are we in again? All right, we're gonna go for not using a drone part again, because because we have extra offense for it now. Beautiful! Oh, that's a good hit. Oh man. He's like, holy crap, you killed our friends immediately. Just that one extra shot. Well, all of our shots hitting is very nice, too. Chain Ion Beam Lord. We have... That was two Chain Ion ships in a row, too, wasn't it? Do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do-do
Electrons do. Chain Ion kills crews. Okay, great. <laughs> oh, double store, huh? Is there a ship that starts without teleporting and gets a four tile room when you buy teleport? No, Manu, not in uh, unmodded FTL. In unmodded FTL, there are, the only ships that have four man teleporter are the, I think it's three ships that start with them. Double stores. Do I check both stores? Yeah, I think we do. I mean, because unless the store is amazing, there's possibility of good stuff both places. Let's check it out. Scrap recovery arm, drone recovery arm. Heavy laser 2 is very good. Do I replace my heavy laser 1 with a heavy laser 2? It's one extra shot, but two extra power. It'd be pretty expensive to get online. But I do like it. I'm going to buy it, not immediately get it online. I'm going to get the drone parts here. I'm going to see what's at the other store first. Mantis B, Crystal B, and Mantis C. Yeah, I think those are the only three with four uh, more man teleporters. There's my backup battery. All right. Okay. Oh, I should have bought fuel as well. Do, 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 do. Okay, so that allows for this. And we can eventually get even the other heavy laser and have a nice little heavy laser meme going on. Um, and then we're going to buy all the fuel and a drone part. I was wanting to upgrade my da or my engines before going into the dive, but we have backup batteries, so we'll say it's fine. Okay, I think that was worth a dive. A heavy laser 2 online, backup battery online, Goliath online. Um, this dive only has three shields, so I will try to not hack you. Alright, we've got to save our cloaking for the ASB. Please don't hit my weapons. Hit my piloting. Oh, crap. That sucks. Engines get in there. Repair. Now. Do it fast. Uh, will it last long enough for the ASB? No. Frick. Ah, damn it. All right, at least it didn't hit my piloting again. Oh, that was a good double hit. Oh, get blasted. Okay. All right, three damage dive for getting backup battery and a heavy laser 2 online. I'd say it's probably worth. I would say that's worth. Okay, let's get you over here to heal. Civilian? Yes, please. Uh, four engines plus full training plus cloakies, 100% dodge. As long as I don't bomb engines piloting. Please don't hit my weapons. Hits piloting, yeah. It's fine. It's fine. We took three damage. I'd still say it was a worthwhile dive. Getting, uh, getting backup battery and a heavy laser is really good. I'll need 100 to get the other heavy laser online. Um, so... We could definitely use more upgrades, more scrappage... Four shield ship. I need my level three hacking as well. Oh my god, that is four shields and a defense two drone. That's some bull schnizzle right there. Okay. That's fine. We have hacking for his chef. Hopefully it's fine. Oh my god, those dodges, but that's okay. Halberd beam, OP as hell. Artillery, you're never gonna fire. Who 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 are you kidding? Who am I kidding? You're never gonna do anything. Why even have you charged? Why pretend like you're useful? So not useful. We have a freaking halberd beam. Man, you ain't doing any good back there. Sorry. <laughs> halberd beam is basically. Who is it? Wedge in uh, in episode four. 
You can't do any good back there. Sorry. <laughs> that's that's the that's freaking artillery right there. Already five through six level is good. <laughs> so all I needed is is to get it modded and we'll be in good shape. All right. Do I want to go to the store here? I kind of only want scrap. I mean, I could sell scrap recovery arm for a pre igniter or something. Even then, I don't know. All right. Four shield ship. At least I don't have defense drone this time. Uh, waves can destructively interfere, sound, sound, no, noise canceling, light can cancel, can create standing waves, and all of the crazy stuff like double slip experiment for light. Oh, okay. Yeah, I totally knew that when I was talking about electrons canceling each other. They're repelling each other. That was totally what I was talking about. Okay, that's really good dodges, actually. And the, uh, uh, asteroids did work for us. <laughs> well, artillery definitely can't do anything when we're freaking one shot and everything. He thought that was Luke to Wedge in the Death Star Trench. It was, which is episode four. He says, You aren't doing you ain't doing you aren't doing any good. He doesn't You can't do any more good back there. I think that's what he says. Episode four. Luke to Wedge. It's not Biggs right now, because Biggs dies. Spoiler alert. One, two, three. I mean is there anything I want from the store? I feel like I should just get scrap. So my augments are full. Pre-igniter. Now we have we have we have hacking. You know what? I'm gonna skip the store. Drone parts could be good, but if I get if I get uh, any repair stations, I think we skip the store and just try to get up get as much scrap as possible. 63 scrap for two fuel. Okay, maybe I need to go to the store just to buy fuel actually, because I have nine jumps, uh, ten ten jumps worth of fuel I need. Mm, let's let's greed. I'm gonna greed again. We're greeting it up here. I could have got the weapon or force shield or level three hacking there. Uh, let's see where this hat goes first. Hacks my O2. That's good. And you have a flak one burst laser two. That's a great weapon system. Not quite as good as mine, but it's pretty good. I mean, you're no me, but you're pretty good. Maybe you should take the fuel deals. No, I want more scrap and hope. Okay, one fuel. That's good. What? Biggs dies? Ah, ruining the movie. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry for ruining that for you. I'll try to do less spoiler alerts from movies from 19... What was that? 79? Was it 79 that that came out? All right, that is heavy laser. That is max hacking. And now we want... Do I want fourth shield or fifth dodge? I want both, but which would I want first? I don't know. So I go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Possibly even get nine. Are we okay with doing a sun? I'm okay with doing a sun. I always thought it was sad after learning that, you know, Biggs and Wedge were like Luke's childhood friends. Oh, crap. I didn't wait for his hack. Okay, good. Two, 202 hacks in a row. That learning, it's like, oh, I feel like we never really got to know Biggs like we should have. I feel like we missed something. My childhood missed something in not learning, learning about the childhood rivalry between between the three and them all wanting to be star pilots. I don't know. So sad. That's a one shot. <laughs> all right. All right. Get blasted. O2 hack to put out your fires for you. That's right. They're actually trying to help us, right? I want to know more about Biggs and Wedge, man. Why didn't they get in the spotlight more okay so that is uh that was free sh free stuff that's awesome so i want power dodge power that lets us have that online and now i want fourth shield and maybe after we get that maybe we'll look into putting something in artillery probably not because it's useless 
Because you're useless. And you should feel bad. Artillery, learn to be useful. Learn to do stuff. Biggs and Wedge survive in Final Fantasy, at least. That's true. <laughs> Final Fantasy VI. Biggs and Wedge. Do they? Aren't they the ones who die at the very beginning? Um, Because they're the ones that are... Maybe, which Final Fantasy are you talking about? Because I'm thinking of Final Fantasy VI. Where they're following Terra around in their in their magic Magitech armor. Aren't Biggs and Wedge in like multiple Final Fantasy games, I think? Oof, that was some pretty good Dimble Doges. Biggs was a red shirt. Yeah, <laughs> Biggs was a red shirt. Oh, poor Biggs. If only you had a different color shirt. They actually are red shirts, aren't they? They, uh... Well, they're kind of orange jumpsuits. Oh, my God. Another halberd beam. Whoa. Whoa. Um... Okay, I guess we do this. With hacking, double halberd beam, that's like one-shot boss potential right there, I think. Double halberd meme versus ha heavy laser meme. It's got to be the halberd meme. Can I go one, two, three, four? One, two, one, two, three. Maybe. All right, we're gonna we're gonna really greet it up here. Okay. Oh my God! Hey, look at that! Two burst laser twos. Who would have thought that would appear for the sixth time of the day? I really am curious how many times we've seen this today, because that I think that's, I think that might be the fourth or fifth time we've seen two burst laser twos, which is crazy to me. All right, uh, you're one shot though, so it doesn't matter what you have, you're dead. Doesn't matter what cheaty weapon system you have, I have a cheatier one. <laughs> Best thing Artie does, bait's hacking, that's true. The uh, the hacking bait is the best, is the most OP thing about it. Alright, so we're going into a half power jump here. So if I do this, I wouldn't be able to get the power for it. So let me get one power in preparation of this. Of the... Uh, half power jump here we have all our weapons online we have backup battery and that okay upgrade backup better for your iron storm you know what that was not a bad idea it was actually not a bad idea I think we will be okay though I think we're fine we're gonna one shot them we have all of our weapons online as long as I have artillery and my weapons online, we one-shot everybody. I also have freaking cloaking. We are so strong. Okay. This run was sketchy some of the time. It is no longer sketchy. You're just... Everybody melts to double halberd beam. Everybody melts. Biggs and Wedge are in Final Fantasy VII for sure. Maybe Final Fantasy VIII too. Oh, are they like part of those? Are they like those part of those resistance dudes at the beginning of Final Fantasy VII? I need to play that re-release when they put that out because that looks really cool. And I actually really liked Final Fantasy VIII. I feel like a lot of people didn't care for Final Fantasy VIII that much. I really enjoyed Final, Final Fantasy VIII myself. Could this quest be a store? It might be. I'm gonna hold off on Fourth Shield. Luke just needs to go to Midgard and see his friends again. <laughs> That's right. That's a worthless deal. Okay. One, two, three. All right. There is another store chance, so... Oh, crap. I should have put my power... Up. If we get pre-igniter... Sorry, heavy laser 2. Um, would I even want pre-igniter because we have to wait for the hack? I'm not 100% sure. It would still be slightly faster, so I'd probably be... I'd still probably buy it if it's available. It's not available. Clone Bay is available. <laughs> Third Halberd Beam is available. Uh, if only I could get Triple Halberd Beam meme. Yeah, f Flagship Phase 3 would definitely be worth the pre-igniter. Um, I think I get Rock Crew to help deal with borders. And actually, I could put them on piloting? Is there anybody with engines here? No. All right, we're going to get Rock Crew just to help deal with borders. And we're going to put you there. 
you there. All right, we're gonna keep the slug on piling because the uh, the um, uh, my control immunity is actually significant since we don't have my control here. All right, I am not gonna take that deal. I almost clicked on that accidentally. Federation cruiser type C, bam! That's a GG cookie time. All right, we have unlocked three ships today. What a good day of ship unlocks. I really hope this repair stays here just for the drone parts. That's all I care about is the drone parts. So I just need one power and then value points. And then maybe, again, maybe artillery? Probably not. Probably wouldn't invest any into artillery. Imagine clicking that and force dive. I know, imagine. <laughs> imagine doing that. All right. Um, double missile ship. Okay. Oh, man, that angle might mean they hit it. Frickin' wasted drone part. Oh, feels bad when it's the angle that does it, not your failure of the strat. Okay, that's one missile. There's a second missile. Oh, I didn't hit... I hit C, but I didn't have power. Crap. Thank God we dodged that anyway. Oh, boy. All right, that's because I didn't have... I need one more power. All right, but get one shot, though. However, get one shot. Please, please, please don't troll me, FTL, and have that repair already be taken over. I'm say 70% chance it's taken over, and we don't get the get the drone parts from it 70% chance because especially because I said please don't have that happen yes it didn't have that happen all right so now the question is do we greed for an extra jump and then a repair how greedy are we now nah, we can't do we can't be that greedy yeah running out of drone parts plus halberd beam would be rough it would be very rough so I need three for the boss fight so I need to not use more than five between now and the boss. We should be good. We should now have plenty. So I need one power to make sure we have this online. And then we go value, value. And then maybe we'll put to get some extra power for the artillery. Maybe it'll get one or two shots off during the boss. Depends on how much scrap we get here. I feel like this has been a really huge scrap run, though. Because... I feel like the scrap recovery arm has had good value this run. Since we got it end of sector two, pretty freaking strong right now. I guess we'll cloak it, why not? Oops. Who knows who my, how much scrap I've gotten throughout the run. It'd be nice if they like somehow recorded that. 30 scrap. You don't have enough time to get out of the sample because FTL, you suck. That's why. Damn it, that is biggest troll thing in the final sector. You don't have enough time to loot all the stuff. Really? As far as I can tell, I got years. I could sit here all year, and I would never never run out of time. So you're a liar. You are a liar who's cheating me out of stuff. All right, I'm going to try to... Try to not use a hacking drone here. No, I'm not. I'm a liar. I'm a liar, just like FTL's a liar. But less of a liar. FTL is definitely a bigger liar than me, for sure. Okay. Get those missiles offline. And by get them offline, I mean get one shot, bro. Biohazard still here? I don't know. <laughs> repair arm. Well, you know what? I think repair arm is actually better than scrap recovery arm now. Actually, it's probably better than long-range scanners because I know... Okay. Scrap recovery arm has more value than long range scanners right now because they're not going to have choices for jumps pretty much. So we'll take that. All right. Repair arm actually has value. Um, so he's going to go one, two. So do I go one, two, a medium? Do I try to go one, two, three? Now let's not super greed. We're, we're plenty strong. Only thing extra scrap, scrap can do for us now is value points and uh, artillery stuff. 
Scrap some of that debris. 57 scrap, not too shabsy. Okay, so cloaking value point, and then the rest is just gravy. So for gravy, go artillery level two. Now let's do that. There we go, level two artillery. Maybe we get to power it one more time. Scrap recovery arm, repair arm, don't they just cancel each other out? Yes, which is good because you'll still get the repair from the repair arm, but not have to pay the price for it. So, yeah. I mean, it's better than long range scanners when it doesn't matter where I jump now because I don't have choices. O2 hack is beautiful. That is a great hack for us. Okay. Go. All right, can we one-shot him phase one with double halberd beam, heavy laser, dual laser? I'm guessing probably. Because this one-shot's piloting. Beautiful, that's exact lethal. <laughs> exact freaking lethal. Get blasted. Like I said, artillery never going to be freaking used. Okay, maybe it gets one swipe in the final phase. However, I think I'd rather have level 3 doors for the final phase than maybe artillery getting one swipe slightly sooner. Hey, what's up, Sirloin of Beef? You're here just in time for me to one-shot the boss. Okay. Oh, I wanted to get that extra jump. For extra scrap. Too bad. So sad for me. It is Sirloin of Beef. It's been a while. How are you doing? It's been a while since I've seen a Sirloin of Beef. You want to get blasted, Megahedron? Is that a... Is that like a... I think that's a get high joke, isn't it? Sorry, I don't know the... I don't know the 420 memes. I am not 420 friendly. Because my ex. Well, just because I've never been into that. But okay, uh, let's see here. So I want to do this. Open doors and my fighting NG. Go, 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 fighting NG. I think he has more health this phase, so I don't think it's a one-shot in phase two. Although, maybe it is. Oof, yep. Yeah, two extra health, phase two. But it is a uh, you don't get to fire your missiles ever. So, it should be a zero damage phase. Um. <laughs> oh. Man, it feels good. It feels good. It feels good to destroy the boss. So I have, I did have one perfect run today. Is it possible to get the perfect run on the phase three with him boarding and me not having the mind control counter? I don't think it's possible. Good, good. Practice social distancing by blasting my enemies. All right. So what would be the best hack? The uh, the best mind control. Best mind control would be you or you. And if it's you, I'd rather you attack the artillery because I really don't care about that. Do, do. So I haven't had to deal with borders, so we definitely need to love the max doors. So we follow him, get boarded, most likely run away here. Is that what you're doing? You're practicing good social distancing by hanging out on Twitch all the time? That's my excuse for being here all the time. Actually, I don't need an excuse. I do it anyway. Okay. All right. We had a really good mind control. That's actually very good for us. But I do take damage if I don't get him to stop that. Okay, there we go. All right. So do I cloak this? No. Got to be strong. Oh, we had the triple Dumble Doge of Legends. The triple Dumble Doge of leg Legends. Okay. Wow, we're already through. Okay. All right, I think we one shot, so I don't think we have to. I don't think we actually need to run. And that's perfect timing. Although it wasn't 100% dodge. We took one damage. We took one damage because the damn guy, damn to damn, went in there. Damn. 
Not even a perfect run, not even good. All right, but that's GG. That is three ships unlocked, one damage boss fight. Really good day of FTL right there. Thanks to the valiant effort of the Nisos. Zinzin, Zin, Sim, Ken, Kapalka, Philip, Lana, Valeria, and Matt. Let's check that score. 59.07. We earned our cookie. Although I'm not going to have it because it's my last run of the day. That's our best run of the day, too. Our best score. 59.07. What a good sh run that was. That was a triple tumble single doger thing. <laughs> you got to go eat dinner. All right, we'll see you later, Oreo Fish. Um, I think I figured out why my custom events aren't working. There's a generic event file, and each sector has its own event file specific. Ah, okay. When said stay indoors, I said, been doing that for 15 years. That's right. That's right. Social distancing? You mean my normal life? Oh, Nice. 5907. What a good run. That was a, that was a great day of FTL right there. We had a lot of good runs. Um, we unlocked the Fed C. We unlocked the NGC and the Slug C. And three wins. We even got an extra achievement on the... Uh, Fed C, uh, on the uh, slug, which is amazing. Well, that was a great day of FTL. Before I do my sign-off, um, which, again, I can never thank you all enough for the bits that follows the subs, all the wonderful stuff. If you're new, please hit the follow. Um, I think I am going to check if there's anybody to raid. Farb was here earlier. I don't know if he's started streaming, but uh, I should definitely check out if there's anybody good to raid before we end the day, because we, we have a good crew here to go raiding. Good raid crew if there's people around. Let's let's see if any of my, my friends are online streaming. Um, actually, uh, Lethal Frag is playing FTL again. All right. All right. I know it's just a drop in the bucket for Lethal Frag, but if you are an FTL fan, you already know Lethal Frag. So let's give him a quick little raid. Uh, that was a fun run. That was a... Uh, that was like we were on the edge for a lot of the time, and I feel like because we got, spent that extra 50 scrap on scrap recovery arm, we were like just barely keeping ahead. But uh, let's do a, let's do a little raid for Lethal Frag. So again, y'all are amazing. I can never thank you enough for the bits to follow subs. I know I already said it, but y'all really are the reason I stream. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. Um, tomorrow we will be playing over on the Space Engineers server, so if you're a Space Engineers fan, feel free to come join us uh, there tomorrow. And uh, I will probably play some... Uh, BDO later as well, Mr. Shogi. Some body odor later. So uh, let's 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 get set up for a raid over to Mr. Lethal Frag. When we raid, we do say random raid, then do the Rand one one Baker emote. So again, y'all are amazing. Again, we'll see you next time. If I don't see you, have a great weekend, and uh, let's get this raid started. Uh, if I can remember how to raid here. <laughs>